Wait, how is that even <laughs> possible? All the hype now about the ketogenic diet. And joining us is health and fitness expert, Di Manuel. Welcome right. back to the show. Well, thanks for having me back. Okay, to start things <laughs> off here, what are you serving me? Okay, it's called Bulletproof Coffee. And basically what it is is, is ground, pressed coffee, mm -hmm. all right? Single origin, you wanna make sure it's also low in mold content. We put some brain octane in there, which is oh. high octane coconut oil. Okay. And there's also a tablespoon of butter in there. Butter? Butter. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> just okay. try it. It's super tasty. This is what got me started on the keto plan just over five years ago. Oh, that's, that, that tastes good. It's a great way to start Ooh. your morning. It kickstarts your metabolism. Okay. Puts you into a state called ketosis. Okay. So what is keto uh, ketosis and what uh, are the benefits to the body? Well, most North American diets are higher in carbohydrates, moderate in protein, and low in fat. Whereas... The keto diet is high in fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, is you don't give your body enough time for the insulin to spike. Because when we eat sugars, which is what most of our diets are, are, are full of these days, and refined or, or unprocessed mm -hmm. carbohydrates, and uh, we want to allow our liver the opportunity to start to break down fats for energy. Because this happens when our insulin levels are down nice and low, and we go into right. a state called ketosis. So you can literally burn fat. And you're saying this is okay mm -hmm. even if you're not someone who's going to the gym on a daily basis. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because what's happening is a lot of us have extra storage. I like to say we have potential in us, right? These calories that are just sitting there waiting to be released. Uh -huh. But unless you're in a state of ketosis, it's really hard to burn those. And a lot of people struggle with that, especially with um, uh, hormonal changes in their bodies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And this yeah. has actually been used for people with diabetes. Yeah. And, uh, it's really interesting. Uh, cancer treatment, diabetes, uh, treating hypertension, okay. uh, autism, all sorts of great things because a lot of people when they get into a state of ketosis they feel uh this boost of energy but also mental clarity okay let's yeah. uh let's get through sure, these sure. dishes here i gotta start with this because anything yeah. with bacon at the base <laughs> is uh, my kind of breakfast yeah so these are basically uh you take some muffin tins layer in some bacon crack an egg over it Stick it in the oven for 20 minutes and Easy. you're done. And, and I'm a lazy cook, as you already know. And uh, <laughs> so this is something that my kids love and it's very keto friendly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this? This, uh, Korean, Korean beef mm. with bacon, lettuce cups. So these are great for grab and go. A lot of people tell me, you know, I really struggle with just maintaining any sort of nutrition plan because mm -hmm. they, they find it's difficult to plan ahead. Well, make things that you can do in batches and then you can just take, grab and go. So this yeah. is uh, a prime example of that. And then snacks, I got a whole assortment of keto snacks here. Like, let's start yeah. with this just rolled up ham here. Ham, ham. blue cheese, uh -huh. a little bit of cucumber, and red pepper. And that's oh. it. You just roll it up. Okay. And they put you in a nice say, ketosis. Pecan. Pecan has. Uh, chia pudding. Ooh. All right, so next time, yeah, get Getting yourself, yeah, this try one. this. It's, okay. it's great. So my kids love it too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically just chia. You take some coconut milk, mm -hmm. like the full fat coconut milk, mix it in there overnight, Ooh. pull it out in the morning, you got a great little pudding. Very interesting. Well, yeah. all of these recipes, by the way, will be up on our website, <laughs> globalnews.ca slash Montreal. Di, thank you so much for uh, coming you, in Laura. this morning and telling us all that eating bacon is okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>